One last example with scope. And it comes up every year because it seems to contradict what I've said all along, which is that variables in OCaml are actually immutable. In the top level, I could write let x equal 1. And then I could write let x equal 2. And x now evaluates to 2. Gosh, that seems a lot like mutability. It seems like I've just changed the value in x. Well, if we think about it very carefully, it will turn out that's not what has occurred. It seems like that sequence of let definitions is mutating the variable x. But we now know that we can understand a series of definitions like that in the top level as just nested let expressions, nested scopes, in other words. So really, that's let x equal 1 in, let x equal 2 in x. And we know how to evaluate that. In fact, we've seen an example of it already. We know the whole thing is going to evaluate to 2. One way to think about that under the hood is that the first let expression is allocating memory that will always store the value 1. The second let expression is value is allocating memory that will always store the value 2. And then when the let expression that is innermost has its body evaluated, which piece of memory do we look at for the value? We know what that is. It's going to be the innermost scope. That's the result of the rules that we have defined for evaluating let expressions. It's also, I suspect, naturally what you would think of anyway from your experience with other programming languages. Names usually mean whatever the innermost scope says they should mean. And that's true here. So now you can see variables really aren't mutating here. We're just allocating a new piece of memory that we're going to refer to with the same name. Back in the top level, you might ask, well, is there a way to go back and refer to that x that was bound to 1 as opposed to the x that was bound to 2? No, there really isn't. In the top level, we're not going to be able to get back to that outer level of scope. Of course, in reality, programs we write are mostly going to be in files, not in the top level. And there, we know how we can nest scope and have inner and outer scopes.